Eric Lima here, as you can obviously see, you are watching another episode of EML77 TV. What's going on? I haven't done a video in quite a while. So we got some odds and ends of rants that I'm going to be doing um, for the month of October. As you know, it has not been a very hot start in October, and we're almost towards the end of the full week of October. We got one more, technically one more week of October until next, uh, a week from tomorrow is November 1st already. And next week, uh, before the 31st of October, which is Halloween here in the States, I am going to make my predictions and picks for the Crown Jewel pay-per-view that's happening on the network on October 31st, Halloween afternoon at 1 o'clock here in the States. I know, the, you know, I'm going to address that for just a second. Um, a lot of people, um, a lot of internet wrestling marks have been, uh, and nerds and all that, have um, had reservations about not watching the, uh, the, the uh, the uh, Saudi events that they have because they're upset the WWE for taking bl blood money. Now, I here's where the lo there is where the logic goes wrong here. You know, blood money is basically somebody paying you to uh, kill somebody. You're, t and you're taking their money. It's blood money. The Saudis are not paying the WWE to kill anybody. They're paid to entertain their fans. They're paying the WWE to entertain their fans in that country. Now, I can I can understand you guys were upset about what happened to the, the reporter that was there. The Saudi prince was, they said, some say the Saudi prince was the one that uh, was accused uh, of killing the... Uh, the journalist and all, and I can understand that. But, you know, let's let's put, you know, it's like, I think a lot of people are, you know, having politics. That's why I just why I hate politics, because politics can't, you know, can ruin things like this. And so the WWE is not paid by the Saudi Arabian people to kill somebody. They're paid to entertain the people. The Saudi Arabian people and the wrestling fans in there. I know that country is a backwards country, and I can understand where, you, where most of you guys are coming from. But I don't, cons you know. So, so to me, I think the guys, I think, I think the, uh, I think some of you internet nerds out there are not realizing what blood money truly, uh, the, the true meaning of blood money, because blood money is money that was paid um, from one person to another. And, um, to kill somebody, let's say, uh, hypothetically speaking, let's 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 uh, let's go a little bit. Let's say the Sopranos, uh, Tony Soprano pays one of his cohorts to kill like a rival. You know, Tony Soprano is paying that person in blood money. That's what it, that's what it, what it is. You know, and I, you know, I don't know why everybody. You know, I guess that you guys don't want to watch it and all that, and that's fine. Um, I respect your opinion, but that's just my opinion of what blood money should, uh, what it is, you know, what blood, what blood, blood money really is all about, you know, it's not, you know, you know, the WWE is, you know, like the WWE is taking blood money, you know, no, they're not, they're getting paid by the Saudis to entertain, there's a difference, all right, there is a difference, I know money is money, but the fact of the matter is, they're not, you know, you know everything, because you guys are now assuming that the WWE is being paid to kill but somebody. That's why you say that's why you accuse the WWE of taking blood money. No. I mean, listen, I'm not, you know, listen, I don't condone what happened. Um, I don't uh, approve of what happened, but, you know, I support the WWE. I'm a fan of the WWE. So, it's like, you know, they had nothing to, you know, the funny part about it is, is that a lot of people say, you oh, know, the WWE should you know, take this and everything else. The WWE had nothing to do with what happened to that um um, reporter, they had nothing to do with that, so it's like, you know, but some superstars have chosen not to go, so you have a choice, you know, basically it's a choice, but to me, my it's my opinion that the WWE is paid by Saudi Arabia to entertain their fans in that country, okay, that's what it's all about, the holding event there, they're not being paid to kill anybody, so they're not taking blood money, they're taking Regular money. I know a lot of people have a problem with this. Just be un or just understand where I'm coming from on this, okay? Just, just please, just uh, you know, leave politics out of it. This is what happens when you include politics in fun stuff. It ruins the fun stuff. I don't care if you like AEW. I don't care if you like New Japan and all that. Leave politics out of it. 
You know, that's why, you know, that's why I hate politics, you know, you know, that's why politics to me is nothing but a joke nowadays. It's like, apa. Uh, you know, and here I am talking about it, when I don't want to talk about it, so it's, it's ridiculously, all right? Um, another rant that I have, um, as you know, Halloween is next Thursday, next week. And I, you know, back in the day, I used to have fun dressing up, and I don't have to worry about doing much, you know, or going over the top. Just taking a few clothes and... If I feel like you're resembling somebody, so and so, and I, you know, I was dressed as Bruce Lee one Halloween. I was dressed as uh, the Undertaker. I was dressed as the Rock. Somebody thought it was Hulk Hogan. I was dressed as Drew Bledsoe, and all this good stuff. So I didn't have to go over the top and all that. But nowadays, I'm not, I'm not big into Halloween anymore. You know, it's like a, you know, nowadays, you know. People want to dress up as zombies or the it clown and um, all that. It's like, not for me anymore. But if you if you hand me candy, I'll give me give me some Reese's. That's why give me Reese's. All I want, give me Reese's candy, man. Reese, uh, Reese's pieces, Reese's peanut butter cup, and Reese's fast break, and Reese's nut rages. Everything Reese's. I want Reese's. Not not my family's dog, but Reese's. Reese's. I love Reese's. <laughs> I'll check out my new Eo Shrey shirt. I need the kanji saying her name, and it says her name on the back. I don't know if you guys can check it out. Let me just turn around here. I don't know if you guys see it. See? Io Shirai. Yep, you know, Io Shirai. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see it once again. Um, ah, there we go. That's where you can see it. Io Shirai, baby. Io Shirai. <laughs> ah. All right. And, you know, and I'm not big into horror movies. I mean, I'm not. I hate horror movies. I'm going to confess that right now. I hate horror movies. Even before I became born again, I hated horror movies. You know, it's like, I'm like, and <laughs> I, you know, it's like, you know, having, you know, it, I think the worst part about seeing, you know, the worst, you know, what's when out, people, here's the worst part, all right? The worst part of seeing people getting mutilated and all that, you know, and screaming and nobody there to help them, that was the sad part. But the worst part is when, Seemingly normal human beings mutate into something that un, it's ungodly and otherworldly, and it's it kind of it kind of gives you nightmare fuel. You know what I mean? Like you know, I watched you know when I watched the Dust Till Dawn movies, I watched all three of them, and you see all these uh, seemingly normal human beings morphing, uh, mutate into vampires. They gave me nightmares. You know, especially some of the hottest chicks ever. You know, like you fall in love with them, and all of a sudden. You start mutating it right in front of you, like oh, you're in trouble. You know, uh, there was a scene uh, from tr- uh, this movie called Trick or Treat, where these gorgeous hot girls, okay, go out and find random guys to date. And there was one part where one guy was like creeping on one of them and attacked them, and then he ended up hiding in a tree, seeing what was going on, and he falls down and sees all the guys just like you know laying, laying down all that and and the girl that he supposedly attacked was on top of him and I remember she said, don't worry it's my first time and then she mutates you know here's here's about all the girls started you know taking off their clothes they started mutating wearing fangs I'm like and I'm all of a sudden one of them started you know drawing a line down the back and all of a sudden the back cracks and open and they mutate into werewolves. I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. That doesn't end well. So it's like, you know, it's it's like, oh, my gosh. You know, that's why I hated horror movies because, you know, like, you know, seemingly normal people, you see someone, I know it's effects, special effects and all that, and there's no such thing as werewolves and vampires. I understand that. Is that I don't want to horror movies. I don't want to watch a horror movie. I think, what about the games? Uh, game you play, Dark Stalkers. Hey, it's a fun game to play. You know, yeah. You know, it's a difference. Is less graphic than than movies themselves. Movies nowadays are more graphic and violence and all that good stuff. And I'm like, uh, please, you know. So I'll play Dark Stalkers because video games are more less graphic, and you see a uh, Mortal Kombat. Same, you know, it is just a video game. You know, no big deal. But when it comes to mo- the horror movies. Gives me nightmare fuel. If if I watch Dust Till Dawn, I'll wake up in a bad mood the next day. I don't want that. So that's why you know keep me away from the horror movies thing. You know, I know some friends. I know some friends of mine that are into that. Um, they, you know, horror movies and all, but you know, not for me. You know, it's you know, just give me a Jackie Chan movie. I'll sit down and watch that. You know, martial arts movies like Iron Monkey. Ah! You know, or watch me the comedy. 
a little bit of Three Stooges, you know. I, I like those. And I like old school cartoons of the 80s and 90s. That's me. You know, that's just me. You know, horror movies are not my cup of tea. You know what I'm saying? The last thing I need is to, like, you know, try to drive at night and all of a sudden you're, trying, you're looking around going to see. You know, it's bad enough that Sam Darnold saw ghosts. My goodness, you know. <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, watch Monday Night Football, you know. And, um, watch that game. Uh, if, if, if it's on the NFL Network, watch it again. Yeah. Believe me, you know, poor guy ain't going to live that down, man. Kid's gonna, kid's got a long way to go if he's going to be uh, like Tom Brady, for goodness sakes, I'm telling you. So anyways, yeah, it's like the last thing I want, you know, is to like, be approached by some strange hot girl and say, uh, me and my friends are going to get together, you want to come? And I would have said, well, look at, that, and look at me and go, uh, no thanks, you know. And, you, you know, because if I go and they, they take, she takes off her clothes, like, oh, good, you're going to get some. It's the main event. No, you're going to be the main course, if you know what I mean. So, you know what? Uh, you don't want that. You know, it's like, like, no way. If they mutate, get the heck out of there as fast as you can. See a full moon later. <laughs> I'll be back. Call me. Or something like that. Don't want that at all. So, like, no, no, no. You know, <laughs> you don't want any of that. So, like, oh, I don't want any part of horror movies, man. It gives me a, you know. I was you know, spider come down. You know, like, oh, my God. You know. <laughs> Oh Lord, you know I that's not that's my life. I don't like horror movies. I hate horror movies. You know, sorry. You know, for those who like horror movies, I apologize. But you know, here I am ranting and raving about that. Uh, another thing. Uh, speaking of football, yes, the Patriots shut out the uh, Jets thirty-three to nothing, and making sense. Speaking of ghosts and boogeyman, let's look at the Patriots' defense has been been oh, on a roll. I mean, come on, you know, five interceptions. Poor Sam Darnold. I mean, I I got to sympathize with him for just a moment. I make fun of Sam calling Sam Donald Duck because he's like quacking up a storm. You know, he says, "I see ghosts, man. I see ghosts." But I found out that's a normal thing to say because you see, because like in your mind, in the quarterback's mind, he sees like more defenders and everything else, and confuses him. That's what defenses do. And so it isn't. I think the um, youngins, the youngins on the internet, don't get that. You know what I mean? But that's why he's been making it. Oh my gosh, you're seeing ghosts. You know. But. That's the thing, you know, because defenses have that ability to confuse their quarter, confuse the opposing quarterback, and that's what happened in the, in this Monday night's game. It was a it was a crazy game, um, to say the least. So, yeah, so there's seven and zero. We get the Browns this Sunday afternoon at four twenty five. I can't wait to watch that one. It'll be who knows? The Browns could be the ones that could um, put the uh, crack that goose egg. But then again, I respect the Browns, you know, you know and. They have a good quarterback, and a, they're, they're a team of the future, you know. But the Patriots have been on a roll. If they can keep up that roll, we could go undefeated. I'm not so sure. they got another t- the tough half, later half of that schedule. We'll see what happens in that department. And um, the World Series is underway already. The Nationals take a two games to nothing lead. You know, everybody thought that I thought the sweep by the Nationals on the Cardinals would hurt the momentum of the Nationals, but it looks like the momentum is continuing. I don't know how the Nationals have been doing it. You know, I, I'll i be honest with you. I'll be honest with you. At this point in time, I never thought they would make it all the way to the World Series. I never thought they would be in the playoffs, for goodness sakes. You know, I think getting rid of Bryce, uh, letting Bryce Hopper go was probably the best decision ever made. Well, back then, I, you know, I, but probably earlier that se- earlier in this season, you know, at the beginning of the season, you'd think that would be a huge mistake. But, it turns out the end, Bryce Harper is the one that made the huge mistake of leaving Washington to go to Philly for over $300 million bucks. He's probably kicking himself right now because this, he could have said, that would have been me out there. You know what I'm saying? That would have been me out there with my former teammates. And instead, he decided to go to a team that hasn't made, that did not make the playoffs. Gee, congratulations, Bryce Harper. The stupid idiot of the, award goes, the, idiot of the year award goes to you. Uh, so... But after you know, after I ranted about the Yankees losing on Jose Altuve's home run, which I'm still thinking, God, the Yankees lost. The fact of the matter is, the Nationals are up two games to nothing, and then they're going home. If they finish sweeping up at home, I'm telling you. And now, due to the World Series going on uh, on Fox, SmackDown Friday Night SmackDown will be moving to FS1 tomorrow night at eight. Um, if you're if you hear if you got Com- Xfinity Comcast locally, it's two two hundred and fifty. That's the channel you'd be looking for. For FS1, how do you know? I know I know. I run them all down on this EML seventy seven TV docket. That's right. And um, 
So I have that and uh, a lot of things too. <laughs> really cool, isn't it? It's crazy, man. It is totally, totally crazy. All right. Now, I have my, um, you know, the docket and everything else. I got some upcoming lists that I could show you off. My top 10 favorite martial arts action movies. Speaking of movies, martial arts and action movies are my favorite. Top 10 favorite 80s movies um, that I have that will be coming soon. My top 10 favorite Nintendo Switch games. Change it up a little bit. Uh, my top 10 favorite slow songs, slow romantic songs. My top 15 favorite, uh, favorite Three Stooges quotes. Um, my top 20, uh, favorite top 20 tag teams in WB history. That means past and present. Uh, top 10, uh, top 23 favorite Three Stooges shorts. And my top 20 favorite w, uh, female WWE slash NXT superstars from the current roster right now. So, I am, that'll be coming up soon. Um, Let's see if anything else is on the docket. I'm trying to think. Um, oh, that's right. Uh, NXT UK is coming on right now at 3 o'clock. I'm going to start watching that. So, I don't think there's anything else. So, that's all the time we have on the show. God's blessings, life, love, and light to all of you. Catch on the flip side. Pay attention. You might learn something. Remember, though, you can't. we cannot change our past, but if you're stuck in a current situation you don't like, you know, uh change it up a little bit, you know, um, to, to make a brighter future. In other words, if life deals you, deals you a bad hand, change your cards. That's all I got to say. All right. I'll see you guys later. You guys have a wonderful day. Episode 382 is complete. Episode 383, probably, you know what, probably for Halloween, I'll probably do a little Doc Stalkers game, speaking of which. You know, Doc Stalkers is one of my favorite um, fighting games because, you know, it's underrated. You know, it's like, it's always fun to find out who would win uh, out of, like, B-movie monsters, who would win between a vampire and a werewolf. And I played and I played the um the Doc Stalkers um collection. Um that was my first Japanese imported game that I bought, believe it or not. So um we'll see what happens. We'll see what's going on. Hopefully I'll get these thumbs up. So I always promise you one and I couldn't I don't know why. Brain did, you know, something like that. So I'll probably show you some new um games on the Switch that I have downloaded. It'd be very exciting. Pretty, pretty exciting, all right? I'll see you guys later. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful day, and uh, rock on, guys. i got to watch my NXT UK. Bye.